This demonstration uh, will show the use of uh, high-resolution geographical data in RAP in a city uh, using one meter resolution for map displays and, uh, and propagation calculations. I open a project that uh, shows the map in uh, a two-dimensional display and it shows uh, a microwave link. The green line here is a microwave link and uh, the other uh, line is a UHF link uh, at 400 megahertz. Uh, we can have a look at the terrain profile uh, of the links by double clicking uh, on them and uh, this uh, shows the microwave link, a, a nice and clear, completely unobstructed first Fresnel zone. And of course the communication for this link is, is very good. Um, doing a presentation of the other link, double clicking, it shows uh, the UHF link and we can see that it is obstructed uh, here. Uh, all of the first Fresnel zone is obstructed in the vertical direction. To have a look at this in, in the three dimensions will give us um, information on how the first Fresnel zone is obstructed also in, uh, in the horizontal plane. I'll uh, zoom in uh, around the area of particular interest uh, to watch more details here. Um, as can be seen, the, the, uh, in, uh, the resolution is sufficient to, to see the individual cars on the parking space and of course every building appears very very clear and and very well on this map. So uh, looking at this in three dimensions I select the 3D display and it opens uh, uh, and displays like this. Um, the video capture program introduces some delay when uh, using the 3D uh, map, so I will not turn it uh, too much. Um, and let's uh, stay with this um, at this fixed angle of view. It can be seen uh, in the uh, UHF uh, Fresnel zone that it is obscured both in the horizontal and vertical plane by, by the nearby buildings whereas the microwave link uh, is free uh, as we saw before and of course this very short link uh, the third link is free of obstructions. I'll go back to the 2D uh, display And uh, uh, let's uh, go back to the previous scale and perform a coverage calculation. I'll make a coverage calculation around uh, the base station that is on top of the high-rise building. That one is, it is this station. It's a 400 megahertz uh, Tetra base station. And what I'm interested in now for the, this uh, demonstration is to calculate uh, the indoor coverage. Let's say we have a policeman uh, carrying a Tetra handheld terminal um, indoor uh, in the buildings and we'll see what coverage uh, he will get uh, towards the base station. It will be a fairly short uh, coverage so I don't calculate more than 2.5 kilometer. Uh, away from the base station. So, pressing OK, there's a progress meter. It does not update uh, properly through the video capturing program, but it's, 
um, it is uh, soon ready. The calculation takes perhaps uh, five, seven seconds or so. And there we have the result. I can show it in the map by making it visible. And the colors represent, uh, now let's have a look at the colors. Yellow is minus 79 dBm. And that represents uh, the signal level outside the building. When the uh, handle terminal is outside a building, that would be the, uh, the received signal. And then the, that means we have some uh, uh, 25 dB or so of total margin uh, for the um, building penetration loss and the planning margin, the log normal fading margin that is added to achieve the proper uh, coverage probability. Uh, green represents minus uh, 73 dBm, so that's an additional 6 dB of allowance for building penetration loss, uh, so that's uh, uh, deeper into the buildings or buildings uh, with more concrete, more reinforcement, um, uh, perhaps metallized windows and, and things that add to the uh, building penetration loss. Um, having a look at this in uh, three dimensions uh, uh, now, we'll show in a very clear way where we have obstructions and uh, for instance south of the building uh, where the base station is we have uh, a hole in the coverage and this uh, is caused by the base station being on the north corner of the building um, so uh, the building itself gives this uh, uh, reduction in coverage <coughs> to the south and south uh, east um, I will move the map a little now uh, this loads uh, the video capturing program a lot uh, so it it is quick and real-time when I move it in wrap but the capturing program tends to get a bit choked by this and also loading loading my computer a lot <coughs> anyway I hope that gave a good three-dimensional uh, rotating view it's also possible to zoom in and out by pressing the control key and uh, the left mouse button and then move it in and out so I can zoom in like that. Um, in order to get this kind of, uh, of a good result, uh, uh, good three-dimensional displays and propagation uh, calculations, it's necessary to have a resolution of the data of uh, better than five meter approximately. Uh, the main criterion being that individual buildings need to be resolved accurately and individual streets and that takes about five meter or better resolution. Ten meter is, there are many streets that are, aren't as wide as ten meter and the, uh, the sides uh, of the building, the walls of the building will not be uh, represented in a, in a good vertical way and a good accurate way. if the resolution is only 10 meters. I'll go back to, to two-dimensional display <coughs> and zoom out um, to see what, let's say, 1 to 20,000 scale. And here it is uh, obvious that uh, the open areas uh, have good strong much have stronger coverage uh, along the big roads uh, for instance the, since the big roads are in open typically in open areas uh, more the, more open than the small streets we can put on another contour that will represent the outdoor coverage and that is for instance uh, let's let's set that at minus uh, uh, 95 dbm 
received signal level in the base and I select the red color for that um, uh, the sensitivity of the base is set to minus 106 dBm so we have in this case 11 dB margin for achieving uh, the re desired area coverage probability and uh, to account for for uh, prediction inaccuracies and, and variations this is the the margin that's sometimes called the log normal fading margin in in the prediction. Uh, I calculated two and a half kilometers away from the base uh, so in some areas we have we have a longer range than two and a half kilometer but uh, to the uh, east northeast uh, there's a lot of, of holes and gaps in the coverage area even within the two and a half kilometer uh, range. That's actually uh, due to the terrain features uh, it's uh, it's uh, quite uh, hilly to the northeast uh, of here of the base station and that uh, obstructs coverage so that was a little demonstration of uh, using uh, the 3d map viewer in rep and also the capabilities in handling uh, high resolution geographical data Coverage results in RAP can be uh, exported to, for instance, uh, uh, Google Earth. Um, the uh, result that is uh, displayed now can be uh, exported in that way. And I'm going to do it just for the indoor coverage, so I remove the outdoor contour and by right clicking on the result <coughs> selecting export <coughs> i get the format selector here and we will do it uh, to google earth uh, that's the kml format uh, there are other export formats supported like arcview in shapefile and uh, grid ascii and map info uh, formats and it depends on what kind of target system that is available uh, which uh, format uh, that would be selected here so then I select uh, where to export uh, the result <coughs> and uh, let's export here So I've given it a, a file name now and uh, pressing OK uh, converts uh, this result into a KML file uh, format. And uh, that KML file format can then be opened in, uh, in a, a uh, file manager and I'll just uh, select it it's uh, somewhere here in uh, video recordings that was the one I did now and double clicking on it opens my Google Earth installation uh, and it automatically sets Google Earth to the proper location and uh, there it is and then uh, for for the rest of, of the presentations here it is the Google Earth way of presenting things that uh, that now uh, are uh, selectable so the background now the level of the detail of the background of course depends on on what is the available um, aerial or, or satellite images uh, uh, in the map so that's a convenient um, way of presenting uh, coverage results for 
in in uh, computer installations or or for the uh, general public if that would be of interest uh, uh, when RAP itself is not available for for the coverage presentations so that completes uh, the demonstration of uh, uh, RAP, it's a 3D map with high resolution uh, data and an example of a high resolution coverage calculation.